Producers, like plants and algae, produce the food energy that travels through an ecosystem. Consumers eat other organisms to obtain the energy they need. Now, up until now, we've just talked about consumers generally, but there are actually words to describe types of consumers based on what they eat. Herbivores are consumers that eat only plants or algae. So this question asks, which organisms are herbivores? So I can see that the insects are only eating grass and the squirrels are only eating walnuts. So because the insects and the squirrels are only eating plants, they are herbivores. Carnivores are consumers that eat only meat. This means they eat other consumers. So this question asks, which organisms are carnivores? So the spiders only eat insects. The birds are eating insects and spiders, both other animals. And the snakes are eating mice and squirrels. So the spiders, birds, and snakes are all eating other animals, other consumers. So because the spiders, birds, and snakes are only eating other animals, they are carnivores. Omnivores are consumers that eat plants and meat. So they eat producers and other consumers. And you can see that this skunk is eating the grasses and seeds and it's eating the grasshoppers. So this skunk is an omnivore. So here we're asked which organisms are omnivores. And I can see that the mice are eating grasses and walnuts, the producers, and they're eating insects. So the mice are eating plants and other animals. So because the mice are eating plants and other animals, the mice are omnivores. So here is a food web where one of the organisms has been replaced with the letter X. Now that's done so that I can't answer this question based on what I know about a specific organism. I have to answer this question based on how well I understand how to read this food web. And the question is, what type of consumer is organism X? So is it an herbivore, a carnivore, or an omnivore? Now to answer this question is really simple, so don't get thrown off by the X. All I need to do is see what this organism is consuming and then just answer the question. So there's only one arrow pointing at the X and that's pointing from the oak tree. So the only organism that is being consumed by whatever X is, is the oak tree. So if this organism is eating only plants, then X, whatever it is, must be an herbivore. So here's another practice question in the same format. This question is once again asking, what type of consumer is organism X? So to determine that, I just need to see what this organism is consuming. So I can see that organism X is consuming grass, corn, and caterpillars. So because organism X is consuming both plants and other animals, then whatever X is, it must be an omnivore. And here I have one final practice question where I have an organism X and I'm wondering what type of consumer is organism X. So once again, all I need to do is look and see what is organism X eating and then I can answer my question. So I can see that organism X is eating cod and penguins. So because organism X is eating meat, it's eating only other animals, organism X must be a carnivore. So I hope this video has helped you understand how to identify herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.